with a miracle on the court. A basketball referee is saying thank you after parents jumped into action to save his life. We get the story tonight from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps. Benji Blumen is a lover of sports. I've been a gym rat my whole life, I think is what you would call it, and I always had a ball in my hand, whether it's a baseball or a basketball, and I always have. At 74 years old, he's still in the gym as a referee. I've been refereeing high school and college basketball like for 40, 44 years. But he hasn't been on the court in months. During a December game at Williamsville North, Blumen collapsed on the hardwood. I actually passed out where the cheerleaders were off the court under the basket, and I had no recollection of that at all. Officials stopped the game. Takesha Leonard was in the stands as a spectator, cheering on her sons. Thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I just want to see what's going on. I am a nurse practitioner. I'm trying to save people. <laughs> Let me see if I can at least help. She started performing CPR. Benji was pulseless and was not breathing. Two other doctors from the stands joined in to help. Coach got the defibrillator, and then we all worked together as a team. And then he opened his eyes, and it's a miracle. It turned out that Blumen suffered from a clogged artery that night. And this thing could have actually happened when I left by myself when the game was over at 9 o'clock, was driving home. I mean, I could have gone off the skyway. Two months after the fact, Blumen walked back onto the court, this time as a spectator. And I walked in the gym, and people started to recognize me. I said, I'm really, really happy for, to be here for the basketball game. I said, but my real motive right now is I would like to meet anybody that was involved. They were once strangers who now share a genuine bond. For us, it's probably one of the most gratifying things that you could experience as a doctor. This week on Wednesday night, that December game continued. The referee, Blumen's son. The reason I was able to go back and watch it was because of all those other people that were involved. Blumen now has a clean bill of health and hopes to return to the court soon. In Williamsville, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.